Hey friends, this is Chris. And Yeji. Welcome back. So we're gonna eat some shrimp, eat some fish, and talk about, guess who? Elon. Elon Musk. So let's jump right in. Uh, it turns out he was secretly, secretly, secretly talking to Putin in Russia since uh, 2022. I, I yeah. think this demands a drink. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, there's been rumors about this for a while and his behavior has been very, very strange. Talking about, well, you can talk about Putin and, and Musk. Since um, when they had a war, I guess, before that, or? Well, 2022, so how long is the Ukraine thing going on? It's got to be around the same time. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, kind of right before. And the dates aren't exactly clear when they started talking. Um, the, the headline, this is coming from the Wall Street Journal, so it's not like some random thing. And they had multiple, um, yeah, we're not, so we're not cheering Elon, we're just like kind of dealing with it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Makoli. <laughs> yeah, so if you're curious what Makoli is in Korea, it's quite good. But um, the Elon stuff, though, it, it is a it is a major problem. Um, now so it's what's that? Tesla is twenty biggest company in the world, and those you know that company CEO is dealing with Putin. That's insane. And it, like I said, it was regularly. Oh, they're talking about three different things. Uh, so one, it was uh, geopolitics. So it could be war, it could be you know relationship between countries. Who knows? Um, the other one is business. Mm -hmm. And then the third thing, which is strange, is like personal stuff. What is personal stuff? I don't know. <laughs> and that's a question to ask you guys. What, what could, okay, so like, for example, you know, I, I think Putin probably has a lot of female companions, female friends. Uh, they get along that way. Putin probably has a lot of kids. Uh, or, or they can talk about that. Putin What's that? like to go to the Didi's party too. <laughs> yeah, Putin could be at, at uh, Puff Daddy, Didi party. Uh, theoretically, Epstein parties has been rumors of that. You never know where these people hang out. Um, yeah, so, because cause, cause the other thing that's kind of crazy with the story, guys, oh, we're having shrimp now? All right, is, um, get this. There, there's like, it was saying that Russia has threatened Elon somehow. What are they, how are they threaten Elon? I, I don't know. They, like, and, and I understand, you know, for people when they, when you hear this stuff, they'll, like some people will those say, oh, it's just all rumor, Russia, Russia, you know, because, um, yeah. But the thing is, guys, and, and, and you got to mention the Trump stuff because it, it is related. There are a lot of rumors and stuff with Trump. Some was true, some was not true, mm -hmm. right? So some people who doubt this stuff, they say they hang on to the not true stuff and they ignore the true mm -hmm. stuff, right? So when you get these kind of rumors out, all these kind of things, I, I always just say the same thing. This is the rumor. Yeah. So we say, you know, business, geopolitics, and, and personal. But then, you know, that's a broad range of things they could be talking about. But, but we know from Elon's actions, mm. which is not rumor. Mm -hmm. And guys, we have breaking news. While Tesla stock was going up, guess what was happening? Kath was selling. She's selling stock. The Tesla CFO is selling stock. What are you doing? You're not selling stock? What's going on? <laughs> it's a stock selling party. <laughs> right, so this is, this is sort of how you think about the world is like, what do I prove? What do I know? What do I not know? So what I know is like Elon is, um, really far to the right these days right? yeah he's giving a lot of money to trump and trump likes to brand with putin and kim jong-un yeah trump always says nice things about them he's always like you know i'd like to have a military like 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 north korea and like russia that would be cool and actually i don't know if he knew this or not but um trump wanted to have a military parade in washington dc because because oh. he, he likes how putin has a big parade you know where all the tanks come out and stuff like that so the problem with the parade is um well a couple of problems so one if you're in the military that means you got to wear your dress uniform in the heat and march around in the heat and it's not really fun yeah, that, yeah. that's there there's that <laughs> but but more practically tanks are really heavy and it, and, and, and the road. yeah yeah the roads aren't really designed for yeah for tanks so and in their practice they have to walk the road yeah yeah it's just a hassle and it costs a lot of money yeah so there's that so but but trump really likes military parades because kim jong-un and putin have them but anyway i don't know if, i don't know if uh, i don't know did that too here Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, I guess I guess that could be a, a Korean thing, both north and south, like the no, parade. No, 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 just Yoon thing. Oh, just Yoon thing. Yeah. Mm. So if you don't know, Yoon is the current president of Korea. Um, his approval rating is really low, like like 17% kind of thing. Um, when he ran the first time, or well, only time, because there's only one term presidents here, um, they were calling him actually Korea's version of Trump, mm. actually. Uh, but that's a different issue. But, but it does relate, because we're going to get into North Korea stuff. I know people have a lot of questions about that. Going back to the Elon thing, because um, a lot of stuff. So one is we know he's supporting Trump, mm. okay? Um, the other issue is, and guys, so if you're watching my channel, you'll know, I don't specifically talk about every single thing that Elon says all the time. 
I think you have a right to believe whatever you want. Yeah. But the thing I don't like, mm -hmm. what, what thing I don't like, we talk about all the time. All his friends kind of lie. He promised it's not going to happen. Just, things. yeah, he promised stuff that doesn't not true. Basically just said stuff that's not true. Spread stuff that's not yeah. true. Um, you know, so for example, when I show you guys the earnings call and, um, you know, I say, hey, like, he promises, oh, you know, we're going to give you a car next year. And um, actually today, because I don't, I don't think you saw my, she doesn't watch all my videos right away because like, there's so much info. Um, uh, all of Wall Street came out and gave their um, estimates of what they thought of the uh -huh, earnings call. Uh -huh. And remember, Tesla only talked to two of the people. I think there are probably like 10 analysts on the call uh, and they're probably pissed, right? I see. So one of them said was really interesting. They said, whenever Tesla introduces a new car, it, it takes them over a year to actually bring it to market. Mm. So when Elon promises you, we're going to bring it to market in six months, they've never done that in the history of Tesla. So that kind of stuff, right? You just kind of making stuff up like you've never done before yeah. and or like you look or they look at their earnings report and we don't know where they're building these things or you remember we talked about they fired a bunch of people mm -hmm. so we have a smart community and i love hanging out with you guys people kept bringing up the point of like okay if you're going to build these new things and you're going to build and double your production i mean yeah people? you got it right you got it yeah. so we haven't heard any announcements of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff where are you going to build it who's going to build it that mm -hmm. like 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 just basic questions you should be asking what is putin has on elon I don't know. It's like, where are the bodies buried? What are the skeletons in the closet? What deep, dark secret does Putin have on Elon? You know, is Putin uh, threatening Musk with, I don't know, is it financial stuff? Is it personal stuff? Like, we have info on you that yeah. we don't want to release. Or he really trade, trade kind of stuff. Yeah, so uh, the first thing that Yeji was like, okay, we got to make this video about Elon Musk being a traitor. So, I don't... Uh, mm, that's a tougher one because I think, in my opinion, and you may have a different opinion, I think people like Musk just want to sell, you know, sell Starlink to everybody. Yeah, it doesn't so it's, matter your good side. But yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, I'll let you guys make up your mind if that's trader, but you are equally selling to yeah, everybody. Yeah, but you're a businessman, right? So... Well, to be fair, for example, Bill Gates sells windows to everybody. Oh! Uh, I think they do. I mean, yeah, I mean yeah, yeah, Russia yeah, should have sure, windows. Sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, guy. Was I... Yeah, and Russia has iPhones and they have... Sure. They do have their own Russian like technology, but it's crap, and so they'd rather buy ours. Yeah, but um, mm. so what? You know, what's going on with that? The other issue with Putin and um and Musk is um I was thinking about this is that the today just today there was a really um convincing video. Mm. It was uh like that someone was tearing up ballots, mm. and it, and it looked it looked really real. You know, but it was fake. Yeah. So at any moment. Musk could like spread one of these like really awful ones that yeah. that that you know really gets out there. Um, you don't know what this guy, you know. And a lot of these things are actually are funded by Russia. There was a report recently um, that that because you can just follow the money um, that Russia is already buying ads on like Facebook, mm. on X, and this kind of things. So Musk does need the money. He actually does. He borrowed a bunch of money to buy Twitter, like a whole bunch. Um, I think, I, th I think it was like, uh, I want to say it's 44 billion or 55. I always get confused on the number. But when you're talking about billions of dollars, it's like really a lot. So that's yeah, like, but, like you tip toe. Uh, uh, according, according to their earning, they have a lot of cash. <laughs> not, not that much cash. <laughs> well, well, actually, so in, I, I think if I remember correctly, I think. That's why. So, and he gives, the, you know, how much? To Trump? Oh, so he gave 115 million to Trump. It went up. That was on today. Yeah, so he's, I don't know. And they might have, and then the Bitcoin kind of like disappeared. So, okay, so the Bitcoin thing is kind of a weird one. Uh, if, I, if I remember correctly, I think we're talking, God, I think it's like 80, is it 80 million of Bitcoin? Or No, 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 no. It's like 700 million of Bitcoin. It's like a lot of Bitcoin. And um, they uh, moved it to an unknown wallet, and I, there's a new report that came out today. Well, it was a couple of reports. It's hard to understand this stuff because, like, it's Bitcoin. So someone was saying, if you read the Bitcoin forum stuff, that they moved it to like an older style of wallet or a different, oh. like a there's different styles of wallets. So like they like, oh, we, we think we know where it is now. We don't know exactly why you would put it in that yeah. style of wallet. Sorry, we're eating shrimp here. Uh, so I, you know, I, I don't know why they're doing that. And then the other one, there was an accounting issue. Um, that it looks like they still have a Bitcoin on, on the, the Tesla books. Yeah. But they we, they say they marked it down. So what that means is if you decide to take a loss, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So so Bitcoin actually is at all time highs. Yeah. So they haven't lost any money per se if they haven't sold it. They haven't lost because, you know, it goes up and down. Yeah. But when something goes down in value, you can decide to declare that a loss. Right. And so one of the things that companies could do, this, this was something that was brought up before, of like why company buy Bitcoin is you can do like kind of basically fraudulent activity by playing with your books, by taking a loss on it to like mm -hmm. to, to it, I'll let you guys decide like what they're doing with their Bitcoin. I, I don't know. So there's that stuff. So. Uh, we do know actually Russia and Chinese money goes into crypto. So that's, so that's yep, the thing. Yep, yep. So I don't know, is Russia making a deal with Elon with crypto? Who knows? Um, there was a Starlink issue as well. So part of the, and this is probably the other big like kind of headline mm -hmm. was uh, I guess the deal with Elon Musk is, you know, Musk will, you know, they're threatening you and don't give Starlink to Taiwan, mm -hmm. especially if China's going to attack Taiwan. So we're talking about like some really serious things here, you know? Um, what? Yeah, no, he's been, you know, he, the very early of this year, he would just talk about, you know, Putin's not going to lose, you know, he cannot be loose and he's, he's betting on Putin, something like that. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's up to over there. Um, you know, now he's running the lottery thing too, which is giving a million dollars a day to like, you know, yeah. someone. So the thing is with it, with the, with the, it's a sensitive topic because let's say, for example, the government says, Elon, what you're doing is illegal. Then he can say, oh, you're just, you're just, you know, attacking me because it's political and blah, blah, blah. So like, unless Elon, you know, pulls out a gun and, you know, shoots someone, yeah. you know, you probably can't go after him. But even then, who, who knows? And, and like in this market, he's like, oh, you just hate me because I'm, you know, Republican, blah, blah, blah. Like, but but the, the point is, though, is I don't think the government's going to stop them from doing the lottery. Yeah. So they're going to keep doing this. I mean, it, it's... We haven't seen something like this before. It, it is so ridiculous. So, the, the, so there's that. I mean, there's all this drama with, with Elon. Um, the thing, the thing I want to—I mean, there's so many things mm. to, to to bring up with Elon, is I'm um, like, how to think about why is he doing all this stuff all of the time, right? It, it, are they underwater over at, at Twitter because we know they lost a lot of advertisers? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's constantly asking to sign up and pay him money. Because the way they say it is like, if you believe in, you know, freedom of speech and stuff like that, give me a bunch of money. You know, people who are like the richest dude in the world, like constantly asking you for money is kind of kind, of, kind of strange. I mean, he is a business person to be fair. Yeah. But it's not like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just constantly asked. So, I, you know, who, if you guys have an idea of Elon's finances, let me know. But like I said, Russia's threatening Elon in some way. But then we got this. We got to talk about what's going on with North Korea. Okay. So what's the general headline story? They send the soldiers to Russia, but today this came out how much they get the money from the Russia. Well, let's start with the first part. Some people may not have heard this, okay? So, which is a big story. North Korea sending troops to Russia to do what? To war. To fight Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So, Jamie Dimon at JP Morgan, so that's the CEO of JP Morgan, is saying we're at World War III, mm. the early parts of World War III. So, um, I don't make, we don't make any jokes about this stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're in Korea, so obviously we have to take this but stuff seriously. Korea, you think, no, oh, it's very dangerous, but not really. We are having a peace festival now. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so generally we don't worry about yeah. this stuff. But this is, this is not normal uh, for any country to send troops to another country to fight another war. Because the average North Korean soldier, they don't have to fight Ukraine. Like, like why am I fighting Ukraine? But people um, in Korea, they're talking about like Vietnam War. We, yeah. know, we don't really, not part of Vietnam, you know, American War, but we stand to the soldier there, so. Well, the, the, we say, so in English we say proxy war. It just, it just means that, you know, powers are fighting between. Yeah, yeah. Now what's interesting though is that uh, North Korea could send uh, to Russia's side to fight Ukraine. And then there was kind of, I don't, would you say rumor, but I, I just literally just saw it in the headlines today is that I guess theoretically the uh, South Korea here, we just call it Korea, but we could actually send soldiers weapons and set such okay. to the ukraine side but they're thinking about it they're not deciding. yeah yeah but i'm just saying that's kind of like whoa so then you're getting the situation of where you know multiple yeah. countries now are getting involved in fighting over the land in, well, in ukraine kind of Cause, what's that because we're not fight in our land about Ukraine people you know, i know i know all kinds of war involved that you know small land and they just fight over that and the bombing everywhere so well i mean any fighting so anywhere sad. yeah right and right and of, and of course you know but just... it was korea actually before like seven years ago because we don't really want to fight but you know right. like russia you know america was fighting each other right on our land 
Yeah, and if you understand the context of this, you know, again, you're talking about superpowers fighting on another, like yeah. fighting each other, but through, yeah. you know, using the Koreans as being like the, the puppets or the, the chess pieces. And you could look at Korean, Ukraine as being in a similar yeah. situation. So sometimes a lot of people ask sort of like, you know, what do we think about North Korea as a whole? Um, they're not, we don't think of it like our enemy. Not anymore, but they do actually. But they do think of us. Who does? The North Korea, I think South Korea is oh, the enemy. North Korea thinks that South Korea is the enemy. Yeah. Yeah, but regular people here, I mean, we... We're here, we don't really care, you know, it's so peaceful. People still travel, you know, just have a regular life. And, I mean, you may or may not know this, but there's there are families divided mm -hmm. between the two countries. So it's um it's a shame, you know, and, and you guys know I, I'm from Vietnam. So I was born in the, in the southern part. But again, I mean, it's all it was all one country and it actually is all one country now. So, um, you know, whether or not South and North are, you know, come back together, that's a whole other conversation. But um, don't get the impression that, like, we're, you know, thinking in about... In the war, don't think about that. Yeah, so, it, you know, for our, our daily lives, it's not really something that... It, it's on the news, but mm -hmm. um, this particular change, though, with getting involved with Russia is very, very different. Um, I, I've been in Korea since uh, 2009 is when I first came here. Um, and there'll be things that you'll hear, like they shoot a missile in the ocean or yeah. something like that. But they, the, those kind of thing, American does, you know, France does. It's oh, just, just te testing Korea. weapons yeah. kind of thing? Testing weapon is not just North Korea does. Every, not, not every, just a lot of big country does that. Right. But what's unusual, though, is sending your troops to help another country to fight yet mm -hmm. another country. So that's something we haven't seen before. So let's hopefully that uh, this doesn't escalate. But it's interesting how the, the, the pieces have changed to where North Korea is now cooperating on you know, one side and South Korea on the other side. Um, okay, so one of the big questions was when a leader, in this sense, is Kim Jong-un, right, North Korea, sending to go help Putin, like, you, you want something back. You don't just send, uh, it's 3,000 troops so far to, like, the, to the front lines and another 10,000, like, on their yeah. way or something by December. But it's not, you don't just do it out of the kindness of your heart. So what do they want, do you think? North Korea, what do they want? Money, tech, oil, food. Yeah, so so there's a real reason. Yeah. And so what are the situations in North Korea that like they need these things? So, so recently they had a big flood. Yeah. Big, big flood. Talking about North Korea. Yeah, big flood in North Korea. And the sum of their the mushroom factory and scientists, you know, mushroom factory ruined and scientists, right. many of them are dead. So they need kind of new source and Food, you know, right. people need to live there, so they, 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 a lot they need of money and they need help. yeah, yeah, they have that they, they want to develop a nu nuclear bomb, right? So the Russia has a you know, lot yeah, of oh yeah, oh yeah, so oh they yeah, they want their core cells too, so so because I'm sure you guys understand this, like, these, these are my perspective. So I don't, uh, not that I, not that I discount North Korea, but I. In my opinion, Russia's always been the way bigger threat, mm -hmm. you know, in in the world. They they have a lot of nuclear weapons over there, so you know, one they could just give the weapons to North Korea, but also just teaching them how to build yeah. their own. Uh, there's been another rumor, and again, this is all rumor, so I just you know make it clear we don't know exactly, but North Korea uh, may want to buy a uh, build a nuclear submarine. So Russians know how to build nuclear subs for sure. They got a bunch of those, and then they want the sub to be able to you know, sail around the ocean and, and um, you know, be able to attack the U.S., that kind of stuff. Um, now, it doesn't mean they're going to attack. It just, from the North Korean point of view, is like, I want weapons to defend myself so you don't attack me. But th that's what weapons build the bar. I get weapons. So the the food situation is, you know, they're, they're starving over there. Um, yeah. And the soldiers don't get paid that much. Do you remember how much they get paid, the North Korean soldiers? You mean to... Was sent to Russia or the... Well, there was a, the, we saw the salaries. Do you remember what it was? Oh, their salary, not salary, it's a one-time fee. Oh, it's one time, okay. Yeah, one time is the, I, I, oh, no, no, no. It's is every that... month, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's like a salary. Like 2000 is, is basic. Fee. Dollars, dollars. Yeah, yeah $2,000 basic, but they get like additional, it's, it's about the 30, 3700 Okay. I think that's that's for the, the basic soldier, but you are officer, you get more, I think. I see. So maybe 2000 to 3700 yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why we're talking about the money stuff is because um, there was some question like, are the North Korean soldiers, are they volunteering? Are they getting paid? Now, our understanding of it is that the, the soldiers that would go and also the soldiers that were in the sort of like the, how can you say, the, the base where they're building the nuclear things, 
these would be the ones that are like most loyal to Kim Jong Un. Because not every not every North Korean is like super loyal. They they just want to run away. I mean, essentially, right? So because you have you know have different they people. Just want food. Because... Well, yeah, yeah, another way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so we don't know if like maybe some of them are, are just volunteering to help their family. Uh, I mean, some people oh, no. some people mentioned too that like if you don't fight, would their families be endangered? We talked about that. Um, if they call you, if they don't go, of course you're dead. So they, yeah, I mean, you so have no that. choice. It, it's none of it. None of this stuff is good, guys. Uh, this has all just been the last couple of days that you know. You have the report of Elon. You got North Korea on the move. We have the, the U.S. election in like two weeks. Um, oh, the other issue is okay. Remember there there was rumors that uh, did did uh, Elon Musk use the Bitcoin to? There's like a crypto market that that bets on the election, and uh, Trump I think he's up like 60 to 40 or something. Like he keeps gaining on on. Well, at least the way it was reported, and I don't, I, I, I haven't met the guy, I have no idea. But I guess there's some French guy who really likes Trump. I mean, it's so, I don't know. They just said this, this is what the report. There's a French guy who really likes Trump, and he bet like $28 million using four different accounts because he really likes Trump and he thinks Trump's going to win. So you guys, I don't... I have no... I, I mean, there's no way to know any of this stuff. He won't give his name. Yeah, well, why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, who yeah. knows? So, so... At this stage, I, I, don't, I don't think it's, well, I'll just say this. It doesn't appear to be Elon money directly, at least from what we can tell that goes that, but I, who knows where this, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> that's, that's it. Uh, I wanna hear you guys' thoughts on this stuff. What do you think about the Elon story being talking to Putin for a couple years now? And this, the phrase was regularly, um, it's again, it's uh, geopolitics, business, and what's the personal stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, the other issue is how is, Russia and Putin threatening Elon Musk. Yeah. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to hear. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>